The Kings Gaming better subscribe, don't get left out. The hottest news on the block, so don't get left out. Subscribe. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What's up guys? Welcome to the Kings Gaming. And before I start this video, like, subscribe, and share, and hit the notification bell. Now Xbox just released their speed test for the Xbox Series S as you can see and they're doing it on the Outer Worlds from the Xbox One S and the Xbox Series X they're showing you the speed so as you can see right here the Xbox Series X is booming I think they said 10 seconds and it loaded up in 11 seconds and they're gonna go back to the Xbox S1 and that's gonna take damn near a fucking minute so that's pretty fast, pretty impressive. But then again, I'm not getting the Xbox Series X. I think it's pointless. You should go for the more powerful console, but hey, to each its own. And also, real quick, guys, I want to go over with you guys uh, on this GameStop trade-in deal. Then we'll get back to the Xbox Series X. Um, right here, as you guys can see, if you're going to trade in towards the new consoles, if you were able to pre-order at GameStop, they have a pretty good deal. I was talking about it in one of my videos. I just didn't know the prices. But... If you trade in your Xbox uh, One X, you'll get 200 bucks towards the new system. Your PS4 or Pro, $175 towards the new system. Nintendo Switch and the PS4 One Terabyte, uh, you'll get 125. The Nintendo Switch Lite, Xbox One X, PS4 Regular, you'll get 100 bucks, and that's even for the old Xbox. So I think that's a pretty good deal if you guys are looking uh, to upgrade. You're able to pre-order at GameStop, and you're able to. Um, you know, save a little money, get rid of your old consoles, your old games, and, you know, secure the bag, bring everything home. But, um, I think the speed test on here, guys, it's pretty impressive. Um, 10 seconds is not long at all, uh, compared to what we wait to now on some games. But, I want to see the Xbox, um, Series X speed test, and I also want to see the PS5 speed test. It looks pretty, you know, like I said, it looks pretty fast, um. I would call it Sonic Speed, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, some of these games, man, you wait forever, forever. Like The Last of Us 2, oh my god, I hated that fucking loading time. And it was another game I'm trying to think of that had a big-ass loading time. Even kind of Ghost of Tsushima has a huge loading time. And God, Grand Theft Auto 5, that's just takes you damn near 30 minutes for, just from the title screen just to get into the damn game. But uh, hopefully, you know, when it comes to our current gen games and we play them on our new systems, that this makes the experience a lot better. It looks a lot faster. And I'm I honestly, guys, I can't wait to get the new systems. Uh, not that long away. Uh, it's already the 23rd. We're less, well, I'm, we're about a month and a half in away. But hey, it's all good. Like I said, guys, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe. I'm going to be putting out back-to-back -back videos, keeping you informed about the next-gen systems. And hey, if you're able to get your pre-order at GameStop, go ahead and get rid of that old shit. Thanks for watching the Kings Gaming. Like, subscribe, and share. And remember, no matter what you're going through in life, always be your motherfucking self. The King signing out. Yes, sir. The Kings Gaming better subscribe, don't get left out. The hottest news on the block, so don't get left out. Subscribe. Mm -hmm.